Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the Land Rover Defender and you can see the ride height is increasing right now which is so satisfying to see. This is the key of the car and we'll do a quick walk around of this white car because we're actually going to be shooting on the first edition. This is the SE trim and it comes in five trims actually. Okay, the alloy wheels on this car are just better than the ones on those ones. I don't know why Land Rover doesn't have the best alloy wheel design. Okay, this also has this sort of a box here which is actually storage space right now but you can actually keep a spray or a nozzle to clean your dog or yourself or take a bath or something of that sort. Okay, it looks good in white but that green is so much more attractive. Spare wheel cover is there I think on the higher trim, the HSC or probably the HSC also has the option of, no, 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 this can be taken as an option but the HSC also gets ventilated seats which is not present here. The <laughs> lights look really very rad. Okay, now why am I showing you this car? Purely because this gets the beige interior treatment which is just much better to look at somehow. Gives you the airy feeling but this car has a lot of airy feeling. Look at the dashboard. Oh my god, it is so wide, it is so wide. It is unbelievably wide. That is how wide the dashboard is. Quickly, I'm going to show you the dashboard from the front. Get to the front and show you that as well. Okay, you can see this blind spot monitor as well. So yeah, that is the interior of the car and uh, the base treatment actually looks quite nice. The seats are a mix of leather and fabric. It's also quite good. And you also get this really expensive Land Rover bag which is obviously optional but it's so light it's lighter than the defender obviously it is lighter than the defender so what you're going to do is we're going to jump ship and go to the car standing there now this is the first edition of the land rover defender it's going to be available in very few units actually this particular model you're straight away going to open the engine bay and there it is it says ingenium it's a two liter engine which produces 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque the result is 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 8.1 seconds for the 110 variant. What is the 110 variant? Okay, that is the longer wheelbase version of the Defender. The short wheelbase is actually the 90 and that is a three-seater, three, three -seater, I keep saying three-door. This is a five-door and uh, the three-door is also five-seater. This happens to be either a five-seater or a six-seater or a seven-seater. You can just decide whatever way you want. We'll come to that in a bit. The lights look really very nice, absolutely bright, oh my god, that's blinding. <laughs> and these are the matrix lights which are not there on this particular model. Yeah, you get it in the HSC. These guys are just so hungry all the time, sorry to intervene. So you see, the design is really nice because in fact when I saw it in pictures, I'm like, oh my god, they made it too modern. But it is a mix of modern and retro. Of course, a lot of Defender bits on this car, proudly says Defender right up front. Land Rover here and the grill is small, where's the grill? I can't find one but everything looks super cool, super attractive and it has got some smooth lines as well. See the fog lamps? Well, obviously it's got a ton of electronics, front parking sensors, there's the front parking camera as well. Coming to the side, I honestly do not like the wheels on the car. I think they're too plain and basic. Might remind you of the Harrier or the pre-facelift version of the Velour and that is fake AF, yeah. This is not functional. Okay, it says Defender right there, but this is not functional because this is on the right side. On the left side, it is actually functional. It's very boxy. It's very big in terms of size. I believe 5 meters long, 3 meters long wheelbase as well. And there is, of course, a camera right here. Now, this is an anti-slip material. No, you can't really stand on it. You can keep your food here and eat when you go for your safari. Not the Tata kind. Oh my God. Lot of these things are new to me too. Lot of sensors up front coming to the rear. Okay, I love the way they've done treatment everywhere. That looks rad. Land over written right there. This is matte sort of a finish, which is so cool. And of course, glass finishing on the top. How do I show you the top? Let's try this right now. And yeah, that is the roof of the car. Now, this is very much functional. I think it can take maybe 168 kgs. But if you're not moving, it can take 300 kgs. Yeah, so basically, why would you want it not moving? Well, because you can actually put a Land Rover tent and sleep here at night. That's unbelievable. Okay, you get a massive panoramic roof. That is a shark fin antenna. This antenna is not just an antenna. It also gets a camera, which I'll show you in a bit. This is super functional. Oh my God, the car is humongous. Well, that is what she said. Oh my God, I jumped and I felt it. Coming to the rear of the car, the lights. <laughs> so much like a concept vehicle, in fact, Let's just turn on the indicators. I don't know, I didn't turn on the indicators earlier. So we're just gonna turn on the indicators of the car for a minute. I'm actually searching where the indicators are. There it is on the top. Not the best position. So quickly I'll show you at the front as well where the indicators are. This is where the indicator is. 
actually looks very nice the design is 10 on freaking 10 don't look at the pictures see the current person you would love it okay this is on the side dish thing can you see it from the front not really coming to the rear where is the indicator yep there it is okay it's like a ice cube treatment says land over right there spare wheel is position on the bootlet of course it has to be defender first edition so that's written as well see it gets reverse parking sensors it gets a reverse parking camera there is the eyesight i think eyesight camera can you see that yep in the shark fin antenna now the good news is there are some party tricks here first and foremost let's open this okay the good thing is that it doesn't move with momentum if i want to shut it like this i just do it like that it stops it doesn't move on and hit you as such which is again a good thing there is a rear wiper which is kind of hidden here and of course the other party trick happens to be the fact that a lot of smart thought has gone in designing the parcel shelf usually the parcel shelf takes a lot of space not here okay here i'm going to remove the parcel shelf it's easy to remove there it is removed and i can just fold it and keep it like this that is super easy and super convenient if i want i can actually keep it below here too yeah so this is where the this thing is the jack is there but on that white car there's actually storage space because this is actually a seven freaking seater yeah last row of seats just for children nobody else dare sit there see not much space on offer but you get a cup holder you get ac controls you get ac vents and what is this <laughs> this is awesome isn't it it brings in a lot of light obviously the windows are really small in the last row but just to compensate they have put this sort of a window treatment on the top to bring in light that's also super cool now there are multiple buttons here now this button is something you should press with a lot of caution because when you do something i don't know if i can put it right now because youtube might demonetize my video well that is the towing hook which comes out if you want to take a trailer along this is the reverse parking camera obviously water is sprayed on the camera to clean it parking sensors this is a dummy thingy there but hey i didn't say anything let's close this so that's very convenient it can actually take three tons plus yeah you can tow up to three tons plus there it goes inside and of course they have multiple buttons here this button i don't know and i don't care but this button is actually to increase or decrease the right height so you're going to decrease the right height press a button and there the right height decreases just to make it easier to stuff in luggage inside meanwhile you see there's a laptop charger right there yeah there's a laptop charger right there there's a light placement here there's a hook here as well very practical car and such however some things i can't really show you i mean the design of this is awkward honestly what is it even about and this is basically easier to pull it back of course there's storage space here as well the warning triangle is right inside it says defender right there meanwhile it's got soft door close because obviously this is a heavy tailgate because of the spare wheel there it pulls it in that's also cool i'll quickly show you the boot of that car as well these guys have been eating since three years right now We've done a full walk around of the exterior and they're still eating only yeah so like i was telling you there's much more storage space here below you can keep a lot more stuff and of course ac controls and this cabin just looks brighter because of the beige treatment meanwhile everything else is the same car looks really rad let's quickly get into the rear seat of the vehicle first and foremost let me tell you it is very spacious very very spacious now this is a five seater actually this is a seven seater you remove those two seats it becomes a five seater and if you so wish you can also get this car in a four seater maybe in a five okay five seater is this you can get in a six seater too three seats and three at the front removing the center console you can also remove the center console well, i mean opt for without center console you can walk in through the front there's good amount of space on offer look at the amount of space is absolutely crazy and that green treatment can be seen on the inside as well so a lot of thought has been made in developing this car okay this is a sensor if a car is coming at a speed of more than 30 kilometers per hour from the side and you're planning to open the door it actually blinks red to tell you nahi nahi abhi nahi abhi karo intezar okay meridian sound system obviously it's a land rover storage space not much here but there's plenty of it on the inside now the seats can be reclined if you so wish there you can recline the seats now you might be wondering well this is not flat well you can actually uh, remove this part also of the seat which i'll have to figure with two hands one hand on the camera that's not happening right now there's a center armrest here with twin cup holders but there's good amount of space on offer and you know what there is not a power socket here there's a power board i will show you okay just check this out two 12 volt charging sockets on either side two usb ports as well 
and these are the AC controls. Obviously, it gets a four pricking zone climate control system, almost flat floor, and the seats are really very comfortable. Under thigh support is decent enough, I would say. Scooped out seat back, okay, magazine holder as well, and USB ports here too. Because if you want to put an iPad or anything of that sort, that can be done as well. There's good amount of headroom on offer. Seat angle can be reclined, of course. It's not reclined right now, it's upright because I folded it. But there is so much space here. It's absolutely crazy. And there is a hook, there's a handle, I think mic receiver, light placement, massive panoramic roof. And the same is applicated there as well. I love this thing. This is so cool. Seats are so comfortable. Okay, you can change the recline angle of the seat. Yep, you can recline it further as well. That is also really very nice. Look at the front. The dashboard is so amazing. The car is so wide. It's absolutely crazy. And these are the AC vents. Now, what if you opt for the one without the center console so that you can walk in through there? AC vents won't be here. They will be on the B pillar only. Okay, there's a handle to hold on to. Disappointingly though, there is no height adjust for the seat belt, which is kind of mm, not expected. You would expect all these and more. Like the small touches. There are a lot of small touches. Some of them are missing though. And uh, this treatment, I think, is unnecessarily done because it actually eats into the window area which actually ends up making the last row of seats a little claustrophobic although this does help to a certain extent obviously it gets keyless entry on all the doors and another party trick of the defender is the fact that it's a washable cabin yeah this is all washable so quite washable very nice massive dead pedal as well good amount of storage space here as well these are the controls for the power windows of course and you can child lock the rear not only the windows but also the door memory seats here i think it's a 12 way adjustable driver seat both ways over for the co-passenger as well again that feature i was telling you if someone's coming from the side lock and unlock the door quality levels are quite nice soft touch material as well seats are really very comfortable and there's storage space here this acts as a handle as well so good amount of storage in fact storage space is absolutely mind-bogglingly baffling first and foremost let me turn off the air conditioning a oh, little time to get used to this air conditioning of this car anyways you see there's good amount of storage space here usb-c normal usb and a 12 volt charging socket as well this storage space below here too yeah twin cup holders as well let's do one thing let's open the windows of the car probably for some airy feeling and let's also open the sunroof of the car okay it gets a massive sunroof okay this is just tilted we need to open it completely now when the sunroof is opening you realize that it doesn't open much okay beyond this it doesn't open that's about it so you want to hang your head out that's the max you can do so the dashboard is really very wide steering feels nice to hold these are the buttons for the cruise control these are the buttons for the audio system and also for that 12.3 inch infotainment system which is similar to what we have seen on other jaguar land rover cars it has plenty of information really nice graphics and uh, obviously it cannot be a touchscreen because it's an instrument cluster it is not the infotainment system now you can browse through a lot of information here in fact you know what you can uh, change the settings you can change the way the cluster also looks all that is there which is similar to other jaguar land rover cars as well so you're not going to dive deep into it but what's new is this new 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system which is absolutely rad but before that let me show you that you can actually hold on wherever you feel like like there's a handle almost everywhere meanwhile it says defender right there just in case you forget which car you're driving and obviously there is a usb charging socket there and you can keep your phone here it's kind of anti-slip glove box is mm, mm, it's locked they lock the glove box what are they hiding from me okay you can lock the glove box if you so wish which already has been done to me right now you get a massive storage box here which is cooled so you, it's a cool compartment which is again a good thing there's so much storage in this car absolutely baffling and exposed um, this thing nuts not nuts screws which is giving you a retro feel lot of storage gear lever placement i like it it's really nice it's on the dashboard engine start stop button everywhere there's storage there's so much storage in this car a lot of buttons here this is obviously for the air conditioning this is the volume control but if you want to get into the off-road mode you press this button and you can decide the various programs so obviously it has got eco grass gravel snow mud rut you name it it's got everything sand rock crawl and you can obviously configure it as well that's really cool i love this screen it is so good first and foremost let's get into reverse this is the reverse parking camera let's get out of that because i want to show you something very interesting okay this is the camera system and obviously when i get into reverse the outside rear view mirrors also go down it's something known as slope assist which will tell you what is your angle and all that stuff altitude bearing whatnot weight sensor which will tell you what is like how much you can weight through water right not saying 700 mm because the right height has been decreased once you increase the right height this will increase to 900 mm that's also pretty awesome but what i really like is this camera system okay first and foremost 
this 3D view is amazing. Okay, you keep changing stuff. You can see everything so clearly. This is so awesome. This is so mind blowing. I love it. I find it better than the one which I see on BMW cars as well. So this is really very nice. In fact, if you want, you can see other views as well. So there are multiple angles, so many cameras giving a good view of what's around. That's so awesome as well. Okay, but you know what? There's someone something for off-road as well. So for off-road, you can see how much is the clearance below, be, below, be, I mean, behind the rear tires as well. Something known as towing. Like this is absolutely crazy. This is to open the hook, the towing hook, and uh, check surrounding before deploying. Okay, I want to deploy it right now. You can deploy it from here as well. That's pretty cool too. So this is a really nice and slick unit. In fact, it's much faster than what was earlier. Okay, it makes that noise when it deploys which is not really satisfying, which is more worrisome to me. Okay, there it's come. And if I want to put it back, I can just press that button, measure load. I mean, plenty of information here as well. So camera system is nice. It's got two SIM cards, I believe. It's got connected car tech, it's face 4G right there. And this is a really very slick system and you can change it according to your own convenience. So if you want it to be in tiles or if you want it in icons, you can just decide that as well. So pretty good system as well. Let's play an audio right away to see how is the audio quality. <laughs> Audio quality is very nice and you know what, multiple functions uh, using just two rotary dials which is also very cool in this car, I like it, okay. But this car does not get heated or ventilated seats which is there on the HSC trim. I don't know why the first edition is based on the lower SC trim, that's something I simply don't understand. Car looks really nice and functional, a lot of space as well. This is a mix of comfort, luxury and ruggedness which has been done very well, you can see that. Yeah, blind spot sensor is there as well. Now, of course, you get a light and a mirror here. Same is the case here as well, a mirror along with a light. And this is touch, yeah, this is touch, which is also nice to operate. These are the controls for the roof, obviously for the sun blind as well as the sunroof. And there is a sunglass holder here as well. Now, this is the eyesight camera. If I flip it, well, it uses the camera on the shark fin antenna to show you a lot of things. This is also super cool, super nice as well. And this is useful because you know what? The tailgate actually hampers into what you can see behind. And plus with all the last row of seats up, which have massive headrests, but really small seats. I don't know. It's for a person who has a big head, but a small body. That kind of alienish, but still that is where it's more functional. And I like this car. I love it actually. I love the way the steering is. These are the controls for the wipers. These are the controls for obviously the headlights, automatic headlights, automatic wipers as well. And the horn. Oh, that is loud AF. Let's turn off the car. And there, yeah, the graphics and all are super well done. I absolutely like the graphics on this car. They're really very rad. And that's about it. We are done with the walkthrough or rather walk around of the new Land Rover Defender. Now, this is obviously the ride height increase buttons. Press this button, you can increase the ride height. I can feel it. I can feel it go up to really rugged. I mean, the deaf, deaf outdone themselves. Land Rover has absolutely outdone themselves with the new Land Rover Defender. So guys, this was a quick walk around of this beautiful beast which is going to compete with the Jeep Wrangler as well as, of course, the Mercedes G-Wagon. Just remember one thing, that this is not a body on frame car. This is a monocoque platform car. And why is it monocoque? Well, for the simple and obvious reasons that most people are going to be using it on road and not off it. And it is mandatory for me to tell you the tire size of the car. Maybe I must have said it 20 minutes back, but I'm going to tell it to you again. 255, 60, 20s is the size of the tire on this car. It starts with 18 inches, actually, and then the sky is the limit. If you like this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's the like button. And also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye-bye. Take care. And, yep, that's like the bye-bye shot. It says end, that's why.